Hello, hello tribe. Happy Tuesday. Um, so I am popping on here because as you know, I am holding a three-day frequency activation series and I really just want to dive into your nutrition, your money mindset, and relationships during this three-day series. So Today, Wednesday and Thursday, I will be talking, and today is all about nutrition, um, which is definitely, definitely in my wheelhouse. So just a quick intro for those of you um, who are new to me. Welcome to the group. My name is Lisa Holton. I'm a health, money, mindset, and business coach, and I spent about 13 years in the nutrition and fitness field. I have done, um, I'm a personal trainer by trade, nutritionalist, group exercise instructor, I have done everything in all the gyms and I owned my own gym for five years. So when I transitioned out of the gym, um, I really wanted to do something that was still passionate to me so I could still help and serve other people. And so um, I decided to um, me you know, kind of mesh all of my favorite things together, which is health, money, mindset, and business. Um, so today we are talking all about nutrition. So let's get right into it. If you guys have questions, just post them below. And if I can't see them, I will make sure to respond um, after we're done. So we're going to talk about a couple of things today. Does your mindset affect your health? Does food have frequency? And what should you be eating? So make sure to stay tuned all the way to the end so that you know what your homework is so that you get a prize because we all love free stuff. So first off, does your mindset affect your health? Yes, right? Mindset affects everything that we do because your thoughts become your words and your words become your belief. So if you're constantly saying to yourself, I can't do this, this exercise is too hard, I'm a failure at dieting, I'm never gonna be able to lose weight, then do you think you're ever gonna be able to do it? Probably not. So you have to start saying, nicer things to yourself. So if you are wanting better health, whether that's weight loss, whether you just want to feel good, whether you want to gain strength, you need to start talking nice to yourself. So you need to say positive words. And I know some of you are like, that's too cheesy. It doesn't work. It does work because you need to start saying them to yourself and you need to start believing them. So before you're going to be able to lose weight and keep it off, you need to believe that you can. So find a mantra that you can say or find something that you can believe in to really help you anchor into the feeling that you can do this. The other thing I will say is I have food coached well over 250 women successfully to weight loss. Those that keep it off in the long term, I'm talking for years and years and years, they one, have a positive attitude, and they number two, they do not do it for the scale. So those that keep it off for long term, they have a goal that is a health related goal, meaning they want to get off prescription drugs or they don't even want to start them or they want to be there for their grandbabies or they just want to be healthier and live a better life. The people that say, I want to lose 20 pounds or I want to look good for vacation or for my class reunion, those people will lose the weight, but they will not keep it off because that is not a good enough goal to keep you motivated once you've reached that goal. So once you've gone on the vacation, there's no incentive to keep going, right? To be healthy. So find a goal and a belief that really feels good to you so that you can keep going on this journey because it is a journey, it is not a quick fix. All right, we're gonna move right into does food have frequency? And when I talk about that, what I mean is when you eat something, do you know how it makes you feel? So I want you to picture um, having a burger from a fast food joint and then having a salad with fruit on it, with veggies on it, with crunchy nuts on it, with a creamy dressing and an amazing you know, piece of protein on it, whether chicken, fish, whatever you love, okay? How does that fast food hamburger make you feel when you eat it? Now, most people will say, it makes me feel tired. I'm lethargic. I don't have energy. It might make your stomach hurt. A lot of people will say, I always feel hungry after I eat it, or an hour later, I want to eat chips or dessert. Then if you think of how you feel after you eat that salad, more than likely, you feel energetic. 
you can do a workout if you want to. You would be able to be creative and think of a new project or you know, focus in and do a really great job at something that you need to really focus on. You have the energy to go the distance, right? As opposed to when you eat that fast food burger, you kind of feel like just laying on the couch. So the next time you decide what to put in your mouth, I want you to think of that. How do you want this food to make your body feel? Do you want to feel like laying on the couch? Or do you want to feel like you have energy to go do things? Food has frequency. It's going to show up in everybody a little different. It depends on how you're treating your body now. I know exactly what I eat and exactly how it's going to make me feel. You might not yet. So you just need to tune into that. And when I say, how does it make your body feel? I want you to take out the emotional piece of it because that is something we teach in the Life Frequency Program is all about emotional eating. The reason a lot of us reach for fast food, quick fixes, high sugar, high fat foods is for two reasons. One, because it's emotional, right? That, that sugar rush, that fat feels really good to us. It makes us feel good. It's comforting. Um, we know what it feels like in our body. We, not everyone knows what eating a salad feels like. Um, I'll, being honest, salad doesn't really feel comforting, right? Like it's snowy and cold out right now where I live. Eating a salad isn't that comforting, right? It's cold. Um, it, it's not like going to warm me up where like having that burger might. But you also have to realize how is that going to make my body feel? The salad with the nuts and the chicken and my creamy dressing on it is going to make me feel really good. Like all afternoon long, I'm going to have energy versus if I were to eat a fast food burger. Well, first off, I never would because it would give me the biggest freaking stomach ache. <laughs> I would probably be sick. So I'm not going to do that to myself. But you're going to be lethargic. You're going to lay on the couch. You're not going to have the energy you want to get stuff done. And then you get mad because you don't get the stuff done and you don't know why. Well, that's why. It's because of what you're eating. Okay. So how do you want to feel when you eat food? crappy or good and then you can make your decision on what you want to eat then all right so let's go into the big topic everyone always wants to know is what should I be eating and here's the trick you guys diets well I don't I don't do diets quote unquote I don't have my clients do them but eating food should feel good for you eating food it is, is a decision that you choose to make on how you want to feel so what should you be eating? You need to eat food that makes your body feels feel really good, right? So take the emotion out of it and take, take out, um, you know, your bad day, your sad day, whatever else it is, and really focus on how you want to feel. Yes, Brittany, I love that. So Brittany says, um, I think when you have a healthy mindset about yourself and your body, you're going to choose higher frequency foods Yes, so true, so true. So if you feel good about yourself, like you're not gonna eat that fast food burger because it's. I know that I won't feel good then. Um, so again, raising your frequency in your body means you're going to choose higher frequency foods. You're gonna choose foods that, makes, that make you feel really good. So going back to what should you be eating. So in order to up-level your health, you need to stop emotionally eating and you need to start thinking of food as how you can fuel your body. So a lot of people emotionally eat. I mean, I even do sometimes. And it's a hard habit to break, but it can be done. And how you go about doing it is stopping and thinking. So when you're sitting on the couch at night and you're like, oh, I want some ice cream. Stop and think, why do you want the ice cream? Are you sad? Are you bored? Do you wanna celebrate something? Once you can figure out the emotion, then you can find something else to do with that emotion as opposed to eating. So in order to do this, in order to stop emotional eating as well, you need to incorporate high quality protein, veggies, fruits, carbs, and fats. So what that means, because a lot of people will say veggies and fruit are carbs. Yes, they are. When I nutrition coach my clients, we put them in different categories because um, carbs for me, it would be like pasta, rice, oatmeal, bread, those types of things, okay? So yes, those are all good to eat. You need to eat them. Your body needs energy um, and you get energy from complex carbs. You also can get energy from fruits and veggies as well. Um, but fruits and veggies, I like to put in a different category all on their own. 
because it's a produce and you really wanna make sure you're eating protein and produce at every single meal and snack. So we need to stop relying on sugar for our energy highs and we have to stop relying on fast food companies to feed us. So instead of getting your fix from sugar, try and get it from a natural source. So instead of eating a candy bar, why don't you sit down and have some string cheese and maybe crackers or string cheese and nuts or string cheese and an apple or try some yogurt and berries. Try actual whole foods that will fill you up and make you feel really good. And number two is you have to stop being lazy. And I know some of you don't like that, but I'm a straightforward kind of gal and I'm just gonna tell you, you need to stop being lazy. You need to get your arse off the couch and you need to make a meal. That is just what it is. If you truly value your health and you want to up-level yourself into the best person that you can be, you cannot sit around on the couch and eat your lean cuisine. You just can't. If you really want to be the best and highest version of yourself that you can be and you want to feel your best, you need to get off the couch and make some food. And if you don't know how to do that, there are plenty of tutorials for free on YouTube, on my channel, um, on Food Network, online that you can watch to learn how to cook. You do not have to be a chef. You do not have to spend an outrageous amount of money on groceries in order to cook for yourself, but you do need to learn the basics and you need to learn how to prepare food that you can eat that makes you feel really good. Okay? So if you wanna be healthy, you have to have a commitment to stop being lazy. That's just what it is. Now in my signature life frequency program, I give you a roadmap to follow so you learn how to feel your best, whether it's through losing weight, gaining strength, or just learning what foods to eat for you. So I'm just gonna talk about five quick things that you can do right now to uplevel your health. So number one is to drink water. So you should be drinking half your body weight in ounces of water per day. Number two, is to exercise. You need to start moving your body. It doesn't matter if you wanna go for a walk, lift weights, do yoga, whatever it is you like, just start moving your body. Number three, eat healthy foods. So get off the fast food wagon and start eating protein and produce at every meal. Number four, get outside, enjoy nature, get the sun on your face and remove the technology. Sometimes we are so attached to, to technology and so attached to um, what is going on that we kind of forget that we need to disconnect every once in a while to really feel good about ourselves. So get outside, disconnect from the world for just even five to 10 minutes and you will feel so much more peaceful. And then number five is to take your supplements. No matter how healthy you eat, you cannot eat enough food in order to get the vitamins and minerals that your body needs. High quality supplements will help you feel better sooner and give your immune system the boost it needs to run at top speed. All right, so your homework for today is to post in the group which of the five habits you're going to start to do. So I'll run through them really quick. Drink water, exercise, eat healthy, get outside, take your supplements. If you're already doing them, commit to another one or commit to one maybe more intently. Um, so post below for your homework today, which of the five are you going to do? Then I'm, if you want an extra ticket into the prize, I'm gonna post an image below in the comments and I want you to share it to your Facebook page and tag me in it for an extra ticket. So what are you trying to win here, people? What I am giving away is a 60 minute private coaching call with me where we will do the roadmap to whatever you wanna talk about, whether it's health, money mindset, or business coaching. Maybe you need help with all three, that's what we'll do. Or you can pick one and we'll focus fully 60 minutes on that. You will walk away with a complete roadmap of exactly what you need to do to get there. So this is a very amazing offer. It is a very high level offer. So make sure to get your homework in below. And, oh, I love it, Nicole. Get outside and put away technology, yay. Yes, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'm trying to keep these short and sweet because um, I know your time is valuable. So tomorrow we're gonna talk all about money and money mindset and how to make more of it. So join me tomorrow as we talk about that and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much.